In this video, we're going to prove that this sequence does not converge. In other words, we're going to prove that it diverges. So we're going to use the fact that if a sequence converges, it is bounded. And we're going to use that to do a proof by contradiction. Notice this is a sequence in the plane. It's not just like a sub n equals n or a sub n equals n squared. It's a point. It's an x and a y. This is your first component and this is your, your second component. So it's a little bit uh, different. So proof. So we'll start by assuming that it does converge. So suppose, I'll abbreviate suppose, to the contrary. So it's really good to use language like this in proofs because it lets the reader know that you're starting a proof by contradiction. It's all about clarity and simplicity in mathematics. That's what makes it beautiful. So suppose to the contrary that the sequence does converge. So suppose to the contrary that Pn, P sub n does converge. So what does that mean? That implies that it's bounded. So this means it's bounded. So this means it is bounded. So what does that mean? So semicolon, it est, that means that is. Uh, that means there exists a positive integer m such that the magnitude of this sequence is less than m for all n. So I'll write that down. There exists a positive number m. That means there exists such that for all integers n for which the sequence is defined, we'll assume it's positive integers. So integers, this means belongs to the set of positive integers. This is like one, two, three, four, five. Uh, such that uh, the absolute value or the magnitude rather in this case of p sub n is less than or equal to m. Now some books use a double bar and some books use one bar. Let me explain what this notation means. So given a point x, y in the plane, when we take the magnitude of that point, that's equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. So that's the Euclidean distance. Uh, this extends to three dimensions. It extends to n dimensions. In one dimension, it's simply reduced to the absolute value. You get the square root of x squared, which is just the absolute value of x. So it's called the Euclidean distance, or when you're in higher dimensions, they call it the Euclidean norm. Anyways, I started the proof by assuming uh, that it does converge. So when a sequence converges, it's bounded. So this means it is bounded. In other words, there is a positive integer m such that for every natural number n for which the sequence is defined, the magnitude or the norm of that sequence is less than or equal to m. So what does this mean? So in other words, let's rewrite this. So it's the magnitude of this. So it's the magnitude of n comma one over n. So what is this? This is the square root using our definition of magnitude n squared plus one over n squared. And this should be less than or equal to m, and this should be true for all little n. So now the goal is to reach a contradiction. So I did this beforehand briefly, uh, and I got lucky. <laughs> because I tried to think, okay, what's a number that's bigger than capital M? So I chose two m, so two times capital M. Because this has to be true for all little n. So all you need to do is find one value of little n for which this fails. So we have a big M here. So in order to reach a contradiction, intuition tells us that we have to choose a value for little n that is somehow related to big M. And that's how we know to choose little n, something with the big M. So take little n equals two times big M. That's certainly a positive integer. And so now we're gonna reach a contradiction. So then, Let's just plug it in here. This is the square root. And again, is this the best way to do it? I don't know. It's just how I did it. This is 2m plus, and then this is 1 over 2m. Okay, and then this is going to become 4m squared. This is beautiful. I love proofs. This is what mathematics is all about right here. This is, this is beautiful. And we somehow have to show it's bigger than m to reach a contradiction, right? So I'm just plugging little n in here. Uh, 2m in here for little n. Well, this is certainly bigger than 
the square root of um, 4m squared, right? Because this is bigger than this because what's a, when the, what this number in the square root is bigger than this number. And so this is actually equal to 2m, right? Taking the square root of each. m is a positive number, so the square root of m squared is m. There's no need for an absolute value. So let me write it again over here for clarity. So we have 2m squared plus 1 over 2m squared. And we said that's bigger than 2m. And that's bigger than m, right? 2 times n is bigger than m. But if you're not convinced, you could write it as m plus m. And that's bigger than m plus 0. Totally pro, right? Because big M is bigger than 0, right? Here it is right there. <laughs> Beautiful. This is so cool. And that's, that's M, right? So this is bigger than M, but oh my god, we said it's less than or equal to M. That's a contradiction. So a contradiction. So our assumption, our supposition cannot be true, right? We, it does not converge. So thus, PN Con, uh, d d diverges, <laughs> right? It cannot converge. And that completes the proof, so I'll put a symbol there to finish the proof. I hope this video has helped someone out there in the world who is trying to learn some uh, advanced calculus. This is from uh, an advanced calculus book. It's one of the, uh, one of like the first exercises in the section. So yeah, take care.